This video will teach you everything you need to know about importing products from China. For simplicity's sake, I am going to assume that you have never imported anything from China. I'm going to assume that you just want to start your journey into importation or dropshipping. Therefore, I'm going to make this video beginners friendly. So it's going to be a beginner's guide step by step on how you can import goods from China. The easiest way, even if you don't know any supplier, even if you don't know any importer, even if you don't know any firm at all that's going to help you, even if you don't have anyone in China to help you, this is the easiest way to get your goods from China to your country and even to your doorstep without hassles. Welcome to my channel, guys. My name is Courage, and in this channel, I talk about business, entrepreneurship, make money online, and um, lifestyle. So, so if you are new to this channel, I would appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up, and then subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon so you get notified when I post my next video. If you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you so much. Thanks for sticking by, and thanks for joining me on this ride. Now, without wasting time, let's dive into the video gongo. I'm not here to waste your time, right? Let's go into the video. Gongo. Let me review to you how you can start making money this year by importing items for cheap, like at a cheaper price from China, bringing them to Nigeria or Ghana or any country that you are, and then selling them with a higher margin to make a higher profit. Okay? You can import any item, any product, whatever, whatever. You can import any product, but now there are products you should not import as a beginner. You should not import products that has a high weight. If a product is weighty, like if a product, if the weight is too is high, it is going to, you might buy it cheaper, right? But shipping it is going to be expensive. Shipping the product is going to be so expensive for you that you will run out of cash, okay? So you should learn to import products that are, you know, very light and not so heavy so that you can import them and um, be able to at least have money to keep pushing these products. So let's not waste time. Let's keep going. Sites now there are sites that you can import from, right? In China, we have Alibaba, which is the global manufacturers platform. On Alibaba, you find the manufacturers, you find the distributors, and so many of them. But mostly, you find manufacturers. You find the companies that are producing the items there. Those companies producing the item, Gong Gong. You find them there on Alibaba. AliExpress is the retail platform. And that's where most dropshippers get their products from. But items on AliExpress are more expensive than the ones in Alibaba because people buy from Alibaba and list them on AliExpress and add their own money, at least their own profit to it. Yeah. So that is why items on AliExpress tend to be more expensive than items on Alibaba because Alibaba is where you find the manufacturers. It's where you find the company, the industry that produces the items that you buy. While AliExpress is where you find the dropshippers, where you find the hustlers, where you find people, the resellers and stuff like that. Okay. And then there's another platform known as 1688. This is the local Chinese website. It is the local Chinese market. The wordings, the everything is this. The website was designed to serve the local market in China, to serve the indigenous Chinese people, to help them get items. Just like we have Jumia in Nigeria, just like stuff like that. Just like we have, um, you know, so many um, online platforms that were made locally for the people. All right. So 1688, you will find these items very cheap there because they were made for the local Chinese people. But and that's why the, the site is um everything on the site is written in China, but you can actually um convert those words into English and import from 1688. And we are going to see all of them here in this video. Again, guys, I will appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up because um your thumbs up will help my video perform well and rank better on YouTube, right? So Yes, like I said, in this video, we'll focus on Alibaba and 1688 to so we'll not be wasting our time on AliExpress because we are going directly to the manufacturers, we are going directly to the producers, and um, we are going to get items cheap. Now, let's dive into the practical stuff. Step, remember I said step by step. The, now, the first stage of this um, video, we're going to cover how to search for products, how to source for products, and how to get the products. Then we move into how to import those products. Okay, 
Now let's start with how to search for products or how to get products. So we go to Alibaba on your browser. You go to Alibaba.com. Now this is Alibaba, right? This is how the platform looks like. This is Alibaba. Uh, let me show you AliExpress. So I believe most of you have seen AliExpress and how, um, how it is here. This is AliExpress. So the two are very similar, very similar here. Yeah? You can get products quite um, cheap. I mean, super, super affordable products over here. And um, if it's cool with you, I mean, you can go ahead and buy the stuff. For instance, this, um, this uh, Xiaomi, yes, that's Xiaomi M1 Band 5. This band, Xiaomi Band, it's $57.67, $57.07. 57 on AliExpress. On Alibaba, you can get this thing for less than $20. You get me now. So that's the difference. So we are not treating this. Our focus is on Alibaba. Now, I am not here to reveal any product to you. I'm just going to show you how to search for a product. Now, let's assume you want to import a smartwatch. You want to search for a smartwatch. Okay. Or let's say you want to, let's, yeah, a smartwatch. You can just come to this search bar and search for smartwatch. Ah, yes, smartwatch. And you click on search. It will bring up, it will pull up smartwatches. Yeah. Yeah, these are smartwatches. These are smartwatches that you can actually bring in and sell. A lot of them. Okay, and now most of these items, you will see that they are giving the minimum it, because you are buying from the manufacturers. Yeah, there's going to be a minimum order that you can buy. That's why you see the MOQ. That MOQ stands for minimum order quantity. You must not, you cannot purchase any item less than the number you see. For this minimum order, you can see it is two pieces. For this one, two pieces. This one, five pieces. This one, 10 pieces. So the lesser the minimum order that you buy, the higher the price you have to pay. Do you get? The lesser the minimum order that you buy, the higher the price you have to pay. For instance, this one is two pieces. This smartwatch is two pieces. And it's giving you, you're getting it between the prices of $12 to $15, right? This one is 10 pieces. You're getting it within the price of $3 to $5, 4.78. So just bear it in mind that the lesser the minimum order, the higher the price you have to pay for the item or for the products. Okay. Now you are searching for smartwatch. These are smartwatches. These are smartwatches. Okay. Now the next thing that you can do is to let's say is to trim down or streamline your search. You have to streamline your search. I streamline, I mean, you want to find those ones because if you look, you see that some minimum orders are 50, 100, and thereabouts. This one, the minimum order of this one is 50. Okay? So many of these products, their minimum order is always high. Always high. But as a starter, you may probably want to import, say, about 20 pieces of an item or 30 or thereabouts so instead of seeing those 50 you just come to the side here and say minimum order is less than you can say less than 30 and then you can streamline the price the price has to be from one dollar see assuming it's from one dollar and not more than five dollar so you want to buy an item that is not more than five dollar and not less than one dollar okay so you, you you click ok here you click ok here you know minimum order it's 30 it, it, anything higher than 30 any minimum order higher than 30 is not going to pop up in this in your search okay 
you can see now this one has a minimum order of one minimum order of 20 10 these are less than 30 right and the prices must not be more than five dollar and see it now the prices must not be more than five dollar than five dollar looking at all of them three 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 and two point five three point five and it's one point ninety nine so and so on right now this is how to search for these products okay now this is how to search for these products the next thing you have to do is to actually look at the products now most of these products they have videos once you click on this stuff here, it opens up the product. Once you click on the product that you've seen there, it opens up the product. And you can watch the video to see the product package. Here, here is the video here. So I'll just let it play. Amazing stuff, right? Yeah. So you can see how they connected this stuff to the to the uh, smartphone, and it's all cool now. Now look at this stuff here. Yeah? If you are buying with between five piece five pieces to four ninety nine pieces, you get it at three point three three dollar ninety cents. Now if you are buying from above five hundred pieces to 499 pieces you are getting it for three dollar 69 cents and so on and you know so forth so it has colors the blue color the black color the red color okay so the, assume this is the black as this is the black color now these are the product descriptions because once you click on the products you come here it gives you the product descriptions product detail specification product description company profile and faq and stuff like that yeah we can go to the product description you see the product description see the product weight and see that it is this is just here it's not the weight is not much right i mean it's a smartwatch well it's not it's not bulk it's not heavy you can decide to customize if you want to white label it but as a beginner you don't have that much money to go into those area of the business okay so you see the major functions of the product running uh, distance walking or distance uh, or i mean location for heart rate monitoring, blood pressure monitoring, and receive calls with a smartwatch. You can push mail and um, stuff like that information. Reminder, we charts, you know, point towards your sleeve, shake to take photo, bonds calorie. So you go through this, you see all the product description you see the product description now this descriptions will help you know how to sell this product it will help you know how to explain you know how to describe this product in your own sales process to enable the customers your idea your target customers who want to buy to know more about the product okay now these are more from the company Now that's it. That the FAQ. These are the company certifications and stuff, right? So the important stuff is to get the product description, know more about the product, and then you can import them if you want to import this kind of product, right? So if you want to import this kind of product, you can go ahead and um, you know get the products and um, ship to your country. And ship to your country 
Now, there are other ways that you can also... Now, if you want to search for a product, assuming you, assuming you, see, you saw a product on Facebook, you saw a product on Instagram, you saw the ad, and you do not know the name of the product. However, you want to import that product. What you will do is to grab the product image. For instance, this one. Hmm? You want to save the image. All right, let's save image. Let's save image at, uh, as a watch. Alternatively, another way to search for product that you do not know the name is to use this image icon here. Okay, use this image icon here. Once you see a product you want to search for that you would like to import, you can screenshot it, crop it, use this image, click on this image icon here. You see where it says upload image. The maximum size must be 5 MB. It must not be more than 5 MB. Okay. So you can then look for any products that you have. Okay, I, I'm, now I have to start looking for this, uh, for this stuff that we just downloaded now. Can't seem to find it. Can't seem to find it. I can't seem to find it. So I think I'll just have to look for other images actually. Okay. So let's look for something else to, let's look for another product. Let me assume that this wine, let me see if they even have this wine in their stuff. So you open, open it's processing it if there's anything that matches it now it's showing me bottles of different bottles of wine it's not even showing me exactly the wine i gave i gave i gave them you get me but that is exactly how to search for products with images you you get the image of the product you want you can use you can do this search on your smartphone it mustn't be a pc right you just click on the image icon that i don't know where this one's saved now i don't have the time to start looking for it oh are you serious now is this where you came to hide I hope you get the point. You search for products using images. I'm trying to see where that stuff was hidden. I can't seem to find it. We just move ahead. We just move ahead. Just know that you can search for if you can search for products using images, right? The image search on products is real. Now, this is for Alibaba. This is for Alibaba. All right. Now we go straight to 1688. I told you it's a Chinese website. So let's go to 1688.com. The Chinese local market. Now you can see that everything is in China. It would look foreign to you. But don't worry, you have to use a, a Google Chrome browser, a Chrome browser. And then when you are here, you just click on, just come translate here. Just click on the English and everything turns to English. You can see it was, it was in China before, but now it's in English. So you can, you can read the stuff. You can do the image search here. Just click on the image icon here. Upload the stuff that you want to search for once you click on the image icon or put the stuff that you want to search for and um, you can start searching 
right once you are here always translate always use the google translate always translate to english if you do not if you fail to translate you may not understand in fact you cannot understand anything they're saying here if you're not chinese so when you translate you can then see the categories the i mean the product categories the options and um and begin to select right this is you can see it's wholesale women and men you can see accessories you can see sportswear right you can see sportswear like swim, swim, swimwear sports accessories men's shoes dance cycling so many of them so many of them so many items that you can you can import from this very um platform and the items are cheap the items are cheap you can see the prices as you are scroll as you are scrolling through as you are glass glancing through these sites you can see the prices of these items are quite cheap okay you can search by category you can search by name just put your uh, you just have your mouse here your cursor you type the name of whatever you want and then it pops it up you keep searching now the the key thing here is to always streamline and keep searching until you find the cheap item now cheap here doesn't always mean inferior okay i mean it's china you know how their product is it's china and then um, there are so many suppliers so many manufacturers and so many companies so many uh, manufacturers actually and producers here so you always tend to keep searching until you find that one that you know has the kind of product does that you know products that you can actually you know get so find that one that has the more affordable product the most affordable products for instance this one so once you decide on which products you want to sell and you have found the perfect one you have to take note of the product okay you have to take note of that product and save the link of the product all right you take note of the product and you save the link of the product because you are going to need the link for you to import that product since you, you don't know anyone in china you are not you are not going to china yourself to import this product so as you can see this product has a rating of 3.4 just nine reviews that's four buyers so only nine out of the 34 persons that buy it gave that bought this product gave a review Okay, these are the product details just like i explained before these are the product details features the functions functions you can see from the functions here alarm clock blood oxygen management date measurement of heart rate you know stuff like that sleep management time notification it's um you, it can operate facebook twitter wechat wechat is uh, indigenous of china whatsapp and you know stuff like that nice decent portable this is how they are packed in the carton this is how they are packed in the carton for you know for distribution and this is the number of the suppliers or the or the manufacturers rather so if you want to import these items now assuming that you want to import this very item you have seen the item what you will do next is to go to these people now there are many go to um chrisvik chrisvikmall.org in fact it's also chrisvikmall.com now there are many um shipping agencies that you can use if you are if you are shipping from china to nigeria if you're shipping from china to ghana there are also many shipping agencies that you can use but i use these guys most of the time this chris vick mall so with them you can ship your products from china to nigeria or china to ghana and in nigeria once your product lands in nigeria you can now request for them to also deliver it to you now assuming that you are in nigeria and you reside in Port Harcourt, in Benin, in Asaba, in Abuja, in Kaduna, in Sokoto, wherever you are, their office is in Lagos, in Keja, just opposite the sectorate, no, no, no not sectorate, the local government. 
Once this product lands <coughs> at the Ikeja office, you can then request on your own dashboard, on your own platform, that they deliver it to you in Port Harcourt, that they, that they send it to you, that they ship it to you in Abuja, they can ship it to you in wherever you are. Okay, so when you once you come to this chrisvikmall.org.org, now they have the, you they also have the chrisvikmall.com or org. It is the same thing. They are the same company. They are the same people. In, as a matter of fact, we were using the chrisvikmall.com. I think they were having some challenges and then decided to start using the org. And then according to the company, they said that by the end of March 2021, March this year, by the end of this month, actually, March this year, they are going to return, normal activities is going to return on the dot .com, on the dot .com domain. But for now, you can use the dot .org domain. But should you want, so don't, don't get confused, okay? Either you are using the dot .org or the dot .com, they all work perfectly, but for now, they are using the dot .org domain. So at the end of March this year, 2021, the, everything has to be migrated to the .com domain. So once you come here, you register, okay? You just navigate your way down to wherever. Now, even these guys are trying to build a 1688 of Alibaba, but in English. You can see the items that are listed here that you can actually buy, all right? So once you come here, you navigate your way to sign up. Once you sign up, you click on this avatar here. This is your avatar. You can see this avatar on the right, on the top right corner. This is your shopping shopping cart. If you have if, if you have if you have something on your cart, you will see it here with the total. All right. Now you click on this avatar. This is you. You go to your account dashboard. That's after you have signed up and logged in. You come to your account dashboard. All right. And then first thing first is that. Now, this bell icon is for notifications. If you have any notification, while well, this one is for news. Now, first thing first, this is the exchange rate, four ninety to one dollar. That is their own exchange rate. Then next is before you can start, you can come. You can actually come here and then you know work on your profile, change your old password. You know this is my your username and everything. I'll change email address, update your phone number. In fact, you have to update your phone number. It's very important. It's necessary that you update your phone number here. Okay, so you have to come here, edit and update your phone number and stuff like that. So you can change email here. You can update phone number here. Now, the first step to take is to come to your wallet. This is my wallet here. All right. So you come to my wallet. You click on my wallet. It drops down the, I the menu items there. So under my wallet, you can see your account balance. You can, if you have money in your account, like the money you already deposited here, if you don't want to import items and you want to use the money, you can request for withdrawal here, withdrawal request. But meanwhile, you have to first of all add your withdrawal, withdrawal info, like your bank account information. That's where they will send back your money to you. Now you can, if you want to add money to your account because you want to purchase items from China, they are not doing it for free. You have to pay for the products you are buying. So you can top up your account with OPE. You can pre, you can pay through resellers, Naira resellers. You can pay with bank accounts. In this case, you get their bank account, this Chris Vick Mall. You get their bank account and you pay to their bank account and then you bring the details here, the teller number, and put it there. You can pay with CDs. CDs say this more if you are in Ghana. You can pay with cryptocurrency. You can pay with Bitcoin and all the coins and whatever coin you want to pay with. Okay? Now, these are their rates. Bear it in mind. four ninety to $1 as at the time of shooting this video. And uh, this is, is the 6.30 to one dollar that's for Ghana cities, and this is um one dollar to is is the six yuan, 6.4 yuan Chinese that's Chinese yuan. All right now, after you have funded your account here, after you have funded your account, there's now money in your account. You can now begin to purchase items from China. Next thing to do is to place order here, order placements. Come here, click on this to drop down to drop down. Then, this is not domestic shipping. Domestic shipping request is when your product that that when you buy from China, and the product has arrived in Nigeria, on the, the products will now be in their web in their warehouse in Nigeria at Ikeja. You can now request for domestic shipping. Now they will now ship it from Ikeja to your address to you. But since you are buying from China, 
you can you can choose only purchase that is if you already have someone that will ship it for you you just want them to purchase it for you you can choose purchase now if you have already purchased an item and you want them to ship it for you to nigeria you can choose only shipping order but now you don't know anybody in china you have not been to china before you don't have a supplier you don't know anything you're just a beginner you use this purchase and shipping you click on this purchase and shipping right now once your product has landed once they've imported it and it has landed to their own um to their own what to their own warehouse in china because they have a china warehouse where the supplier where the producer manufacturers in china will ship the product to these people's warehouse once it gets to the warehouse they will notify you that's why i said that at the top is the notification by bell on your phone you can see it you will see the notification here that your item has arrived their warehouse in china once that is done you can come to this place this shipping checkout to request for shipping they will now calculate what the cost of shipping will be they will tell you the weight of the products and then they will ship it but for you to purchase and ship you use this one just click on purchase and shipping it opens up this place for you okay it opens up this place for you now this is how you buy items from china if you notice you see that this notification is zero news is zero because i don't have any notification i don't have any item that has landed in their web in their warehouse yet so now for you to import an item i said you should remember to keep the link of the products you want to buy so what do you do which website are you purchasing from alibaba product link this is the product we want to buy right so we pick the link copy we input we put the link here unit price of the product based on the quantity we are purchasing we are purchasing um let's see the unit price we are purchasing between 10 to 4.99 the unit price is three dollar 37 cents so let's say we are purchasing just 20 pieces of this item that's 3.37 3.37 quantity 20 20 pieces option which color do you want is it the red the black the yellow the orange whatever whatever you tell them you want red okay now if you want since you're buying 20 you can say you want five red five black five blue five yellow right now they are going to help you and purchase it exactly the way you want it you can say no i just i want just 10 reds and 10 blacks 10 reds and black since you're purchasing 20 right they are going to help you to purchase 10 red of 10 red color of it and 10 black color of it okay now the next thing is the seller number you have to put the seller number here so you come you come here to our products this product that we're purchasing and then we look for the seller number where is the seller number here phone number so we have to find a way to copy this number if you cannot it's just it's one three eight seven one eight one three eight seven one eight no, the number is correct. Eight seven one eight zero nine three ten. Right, zero nine three ten. Okay. Next thing to do is to add to cart. It is. Do you see the notification here? You have added an item to your list. Remember to place your order when you are done. Now you have added this item to cards. You have added to your list. Okay. Now this is the item on your list. This is the item on your list. Okay, I have an item on my list before this video. I have an item that I am 
I am going to that I wish to I, I'm going to import this week. This week, actually, this item I am buying it for, I think, um, less than four dollars. I'm buying each of the item for three point sixty dollar, three dollars sixty cents. Okay, um, that's less than two k, and I'm going to be selling this item for twenty three thousand naira. That is my that's the church mind. I'm going to sell it at. I already have the items. I'm not going to show you what product it is. Well, it's a new product. I want, to, I want to start selling. It's less than 2K to get it from China. And I'm going to sell it for 23K. If I change my mind, I can sell it for 30K. But for now, my mind has not changed. It's 23K. So, now that you have come here to your products, you have come here to your carts, you now want to place order. You now highlight or just check. Because this is the one we just, we just did now, right? You just click on check there you come here type of action you select order placement and then you click on place order if you have money in your if you have money on your wallet here your order will be placed but if you don't have money it won't be placed now we have click place order Abby. let's place order and see you say you need to add your phone number to your account to be able to Please order. Click here to add phone number. Now, if you add phone number, it will also tell you that you need to add money to your account. But because our account has not been funded, you cannot import these items until you add your phone number because they are going to call you on the phone when your product is arrived. Even if you want to come and claim the product, you provide your phone number, right? That's it. So, you add your phone number and then you come to your wallet, like I said before, and credit your wallet, add funds to your wallet, and then that's how you can come here, select the item that you want to, select the order, that's the cards that you want to clear, select, place order. If you want to delete the item, you just click on delete item, click on place order, the item will delete. But if you want to place the order, you select place order placement, click on place order, and then you have placed the order, right? In, within three days, they will contact you that sellers um, have accepted, they have paid, the, or the item is coming to their warehouse. Once the item comes to the warehouse in China, they will notify you that the item is in their warehouse in China. You will see it here. You will see it when you click on, when you go to, when you go to, you will see the notification here. Then when you go to other placement, shipping checkout. For now, you can't find anything. You cl click on shipping checkout. It said no record found for any parcel. All right. Mm -hmm. But if your order has landed in the warehouse in China, you will see the record here. Then you can click on ship and select which of the shipping method you want. The normal method, that's the cheapest. It takes your product will, will land in Nigeria or Ghana within 10 to 30 days. You have the bi weekly, uh, no, I think it's tri weekly. And then they have the express. But for now, I think this COVID season, I think what they do now is just normal shipping. But things are going to get back to normal, right? So let's keep believing. All right. So guys, that's exactly how to import items from China to Nigeria without knowing anyone and without being in China, right? You simply come to Alibaba, you search for the products. If you don't, have the, if you don't know the name of the product, you use this image search. You must have the picture of the product on your system or on your phone because this image search also works on mobile phone all right you use this emails image search you get the products you search the products you get the product link just like this one that we did here you get the product link you get the product details the price and then um, it must contain the seller detail like their phone number and i mean just take this wristwatch, for example, people are selling these things for 15,000 naira, 20k, 25k in Nigeria here. But see the price less than 2,000 naira. That's what you're getting it from China. So you see that these things are profitable. You need to learn these things. It's not rocket science. I don't teach you now. It's left for you to take advantage of this knowledge that you've gained. Get, pick the product link from here. Put it here on on these people's uh, on their website. Get all the details. Fill it ju just the way I filled it. That is when you come to um, purchase and shipping. 
you you impute the website from which you are buying. There are many of them here: DH Gates, Amazon dot China, all of them Tabao, all of them AliExpress, JD, Alibaba. If you are getting from Alibaba, you select Alibaba. You put the product link. You pick the link here. You put it. The unit, uh, the unit price of the product, you put it there. The quantity, you put it there. Now, for this one, that's 3.37. You don't have to put the dollar sign. Just know that this is 3.37 for this number of products. You pick, just type 3.37, all right? Then quantity, either 10, 20, 30. You input quantity there. Products option, enter the product option like color and size for easy processing. So you can tell them that I want, if you're buying a shoe, I buy a shoe. You can say I want. You can say white shoe, white size forty two. Do you understand? You give them the option so that they can process the purchase easily. If you are buying a dress, you can say black. If you are buying a dress top, they already they have already seen the link that it's a top. So you just say black size eight, shoe red size this. All right. So that they can easily get them and then you come here you input the number of the seller because they are going to call the seller they're going to call the seller and finish up business with them because they are already in china they have people in china and they have people in nigeria so easy pc you do all of that you submit and you come here you check on it the ones that the one that you want to order for you come here you you select place order you click on place order and boom Within how many days your product is in Nigeria, you set up your sales page, you start selling, you start making money, and you start to the chop life. You start to the enjoy, and then you come back to me and pay your tight. Very necessary. Before before I invest for you, all right. So thank you for watching this video, guys. Um, I know you enjoyed it. I can tell that you enjoyed it. I made it very simple and straightforward without wasting time. Kindly like this video. I beg, I beg, I take God beg you. Like this video, drop a comment. If you have a question, please ask the question and share this video with people you know that it would help. Share it on your WhatsApp, share it on Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. Just share, 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 share. Let the, let the channel blow up. Let people come to realize that okay we are now on youtube and we want to help people make more money and afford a better life and of course live some decent life you can make approximately from 400k and above every month comfortably from the comfort of your home right you import these products you find people to deliver it for you you set up ad set up sales page people order you or delivery people takes the products deliver it and give you your money you are balling right so i appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon so that you get notified when i post my next video guys my next video is going to be whew, like i'm not going to reveal anything there but my next video will be hot so make sure you stay tuned subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thanks guys and cheers right stay safe